Attention! Soldiers, subscribers, we have been given a new mission to infiltrate this city right here. There's, there's no city yet, but we'll build one. With this army right here. Again, there's no army yet, but we'll build one. That's what this series is going to be. We are going to be building like a miniature war zone, a freeze frame in time. Imagine having a war DVD and right in the middle of the battle scene, you hit the pause button and all the planes are stuck. Stop there. The planes that are crashing are like frozen in time with smoke coming out behind them. The fire on the floor on the beach here is going to be roaring. There's going to be little boats with little people, soldiers coming out of it all frozen in time. This little city is going to be like a little, well, a little village. Like a little village here. Uh, we're going to have some roads. We're going to have some broken down buildings where they've been blown up by bombs and tank missiles and people will be out of windows shooting away we're gonna have yeah tanks and jeeps it's gonna be crazy cool so like any episode one of any series it requires me talking a little bit about uh, what we're gonna do and the ideas behind it so number one we are here on pc minecraft so I get my wand, okay? So it's just gonna it just speed thing speeds things up a little bit, especially anything that has roads in it. Whenever you do roads in Minecraft, uh, they take ages to do by hand, especially if you're doing like uh, a road for two cars, for example. So this is just a way that I can quickly do roads off camera. It's not going to really affect much of uh, of you guys. The second reason why I'm doing it on PC is once it's all finished, we can get a really nice shader pack to get some beautiful shadows on the floor. And most importantly, as this half of this freeze frame in time is going to be of water, that's the only downside to default Minecraft is the water. Although it's okay, it's not wonderful looking water, is it? It doesn't look very realistic. We we know that it's water because we've played Minecraft for years. My hat's on the wonk. There we go. It's still on the wonk. There we go. We've played Minecraft for years, so we know what uh, what water should look like in Minecraft. But with the shader pack, it looks fabulous. So we'll be having a look at that at the end. Imagine the fire and the lighting with the shader pack. It's going to be beautiful. But there's another reason why we're here on PC. And that's with texture packs. Okay, so... I've got the default texture pack at the moment, and we're going to be building it in the default default texture pack, and we won't be changing like the default texture pack. Look, really, the only thing that we can, or, or the only thing that I want to do, potentially, not 100% decided, is just change certain blocks, one or two blocks. For example, I want to change the villagers to look like army soldiers. Okay, we'll go into Photoshop together in one of the episodes and we'll make our own uh, army guy and he'll have a little helmet on and he'll have uh, a little, you know, war jacket on, maybe a little gun strapped to his back or something like that and, uh, and we can either freeze them or they can wander around, we can give them AI if we want. And they can wander around and do that, what they want. But it's just going to be cool to have that kind of thing. Uh, I did say this was going to be a freeze in time. But there is the potentiality that we can maybe use command blocks a little bit in order to get things to open. Like the, the, uh, the guns of the ship to sort of turn slightly or maybe the, uh, the back of the boats to open up to let the soldiers out. Things like that we can sort of do. Now, I have gone ahead and I've started a little bit here of, of the sort of thing that I want to look at. Obviously, it's very rough at the moment. Uh, but basically, sorry about that. <laughs> I heard a knock on the door. That really hurt my throat, by the way, doing that war voice. I would not be a good leader. Uh, what was I saying anyway? Uh, yeah, so imagine uh, that this is the ocean, which it is. It's an ocean bar and there's a lot of ocean there. It looks like a big boat, war boats and destroyers would be able to approach here. This island right here, this little sort of spruce island, I might remove and have that all water there. I think that might be quite good. Uh, imagine this beach wrapping around here. Now, most of the time... You get it like this, look. And this is what that was before. It's a very steep and short uh, beach edge, coast edge. I don't want that. I want a more longer, gradual incline 
uh, for for a beach, so we can build uh, like beached boats on it and fires and and make it look like when you go to a beach, like like in the summer and you want to go and sunbathe, you don't get onto a beach like this, at least not that often. Uh, you usually go to a nice big sort of flat beach. So uh, what I've done is I've terraformed this a little bit. There's a lot more work to do. But I've terraformed this a little bit so we can have the sand going all the way back now to uh, here, for example. And I've made it uh, a very, oh, not there, to here, set to sand. To here set to sand now anywhere where it falls you can just keep doing it <laughs> and it'll just fill it up so quick that's why I love world edit <laughs> I wish I so wish we had this on console okay so now we've got a, a bigger beach and it's a, 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 a low beach it's a slow slow incline up again it'll be affected it'll be changed and modified then I've got the main land and as you can see the main land I've actually got at three blocks higher than the beach now that might look a little bit weird at the moment but the plan is I want to have a wall imagine um uh, imagine like a beach or, or a sea defense in some places you see walls at the back of um, of the beach so when the tide comes up it doesn't flood into the town uh, that's next to it it goes up to the wall and that's it so I want a really nice wall up here another reason why I want to do that is because it gives us something to blow up or it gives us something to make look broken right at the beginning we can have parts of the wall fallen down onto the beach and we can have stairways going up uh, onto the land above now I have actually drawn out this is very very crude drawing but I have got a little plan of what I want this to sort of look like from the top it's in two parts let me put this up to the camera so as you can see there's a big destroyer at the top there look at my wonderful drawings those little circles are meant to be explosions in the water and the little rectangles below it uh, like little, uh, li I think they're called U-boats. I'm not 100% sure. By the way, this is going to be like a World War II. Okay, not modern area. Um, mo not modern era. Uh, sort of more World War II. And also I want to mention that we're not going to be specifically building uh, like specific countries, tanks and boats and stuff like that. We're not a specific country and we're not invading a specific country. We're going to be choosing tanks that look really really cool that we can do in minecraft and we're going to choose planes that we really like so we might have like a, a an american tank uh but we might have uh the british spitfire up in the sky it doesn't really matter i just want it to be really cool looking okay that way it also doesn't upset people if we say like we're america and we're invading france or something like that it doesn't upset people so it's absolutely neutral but anyway so the little um the little wiggles are meant to be flames on the beach and the little squares with X's in them are going to be little watchtowers on the beach. Then you've got uh, the the wall, like where my finger is, this, like, well, this big black line is meant to be a wall that goes across uh, holding the uh, water, or holding you know the beach back when the tide goes up and then the little squiggles, like that little squiggle right there, is meant to be like a part of the wall that's broken down. Then we get to the road. I'm sure you can see sort of what the road is. I know it might be a little bit blurry because the camera isn't focusing properly. But there's a few little buildings about. This middle one here is a big church that I want to destroy. There's a little tank. Uh, that on the side is a row of houses. Again, all blown up on the sides and stuff. And on this side... Oh, yeah. On this side is a runway. This is a runway. And then it's boarded off with a fence. You can see my terrible rushed handwriting here. I was doing it while editing a couple of days ago. And then I've got the part that goes below it. So these join together underneath. I ran out of paper though. So underneath, uh, I've got a little bridge going over the road right there. And I've got a little car park on the side. That's another little sort of block of houses. That right there is a train station. And this is a rail, an old World War II rail that goes over the road. Uh, I think that's meant to say house as well. Yeah, that says house as well. I can't read it backwards. And then that's the bottom of the runway with a, uh, what would you call them? Like a bunker, air, aircraft shelter uh, with maybe a pl little plane in it and a plane on the runway. In the uh, water here, as you say, as I saw on the uh, picture there, um, there will be more than two little U-boats. 
There'll be a big destroyer, so I might have to like remove this little section here, get rid of that, make it a little bit more of a smoothed edge there. Big destroyer in the water with guns on it, maybe use command blocks to get the guns to maybe move slightly, give a little bit of animation to it. Up in the sky, uh, I want to have a load of planes flying that way. So imagine a load of planes going over, some of them with drums, uh, with drums bopping? No, with bombs dropping. With bomb, with doms bopping, <laughs> with bombs dropping below them, and you can see them sort of cascading down. I want maybe one or two of them to be blown up, and the wings going off behind it. We'll use spider webs for uh, smoke and stuff like that. It's gonna be totally awesome. Uh, I really, really am excited about it. Now, the first thing is, is that uh, be is just beach here far enough back. Because if it's not far enough back, this is the time that we sort of want to move it. I think it's about right. I think it's about right. We can get like a little boat beached up on here. Maybe a little bit further back. Maybe a little bit further back. It's not that hard to do for us. Let's move it back by like four blocks. So maybe to there. Set to air. Well, I even spelled air wrong and it still knew what I meant. And... Uh, I say th this is the part that takes a little bit of time, but it's still a, it's still an awful lot quicker than doing it by hand. Imagine trying to carve that out by hand; you would be there forever. So down from there to there, from here to here. Okay, and imagine that's a little bit further back now. Obviously, obviously. Uh, we'll smooth that ground off, the, the, the grass off, uh, to be a, a smoother incline. But I definitely think it's getting there, from there to there. I'm not really that bothered about the stuff around here too much. Obviously, we can't, we can't build the entire city as it goes back. It's going to be like a small portion of the village. Okay, and then we can make it gr uh, sand uh, really, really easily. By grabbing that one. And grabbing that one. Set to sand, and then just fill in this where there's ocean and stuff for little like water ponds below it. It's really, really easy to do with World Edit. I'm lazy, okay? I'm lazy. I like to be able to build things quickly. I'm a fast builder. I, oops, I enjoy building blocks fast. Oh, in fact, we could probably go like from there to here. Replace grass with sand. Ba boom. Replace dirt with sand. Replace gravel with sand. There we go. That saved a lot of time. And then, woo! I'm stuck in the block. I'm stuck in the block. <laughs> we can go from here to there. Set sand. And fill in all these holes. And there we go. Look, we've all already got a much larger beach to play with and build on. Fill all that in. And a couple more. There we go. And uh, yeah, I'll fill in that hole. No problem. But yeah, okay. Let me just smooth off and round off this um, grassy bit. Make it a bit more of a of a uh, a natural sort of curve. And I should be back. Okay. Okay, you know, while I was doing this, while I was just rounding off that corner, adding a little bit more beach, I had three cold callers. Now, I've complained about cold callers enough over little bits in uh, little episodes, but they just drive me insane at all times. Now, I like this. It's a little bit more rounded. It might be a little bit difficult to do a wall on, so it might still be changed a little bit, but I really want to at least start getting this wall design down uh, now it's not really that hard or you know I don't want it to be that hard or complicated I think andesite and granite a nice sort of smooth um, smooth wall blocks uh, maybe the smooth slab as well on top of it I want it to look very very polished uh, a really nice looking one in fact that might be about that might be about it, maybe with some stone as the back. Like, for example, let's grab from here to here and set that to the stone. 
that's like the background there's going to be a two-layered wall uh, so then we want like these andesite blocks i'm gonna put them let's say every two blocks or every three blocks maybe If I do every three blocks, we get to put a little slab at the top or something, don't we? To get it to look a little bit more curved. So let's go every three blocks. Every three blocks works with any pattern that you do in Minecraft. So we'll we'll stick to what we know. That one, that one, that one, etc, etc. Then I want some um, andesite on top here. It just stands out a little bit against that stone. It's not quite exactly the same then. At the moment, obviously, the wall is in perfect shape. It's not broken or bu or bust in any way. Uh, see, what we might be able to do, like, you know how I was saying about this texture stuff? I might be able to change this texture to look like the andesite, so then it blends over and looks all like one piece instead of being a different block. I don't know. I don't know. It's quite odd for me to build in this, uh, build in creative in the default texture pack. It's not like me. Usually when I'm in creative mode i usually have the uh, natural texture pack or the john smiths if i'm on pc uh, but yeah if we change that texture to look like andesite as you can see it'll sort of have a, a little bit more of an arch that goes along the top imagine imagine those being andesite that could look pretty nice i do think so so yeah this is the retaining wall for the uh, for the ocean up against it and we want this to be high enough to uh, to sort of see over in a way. So I think what we might do is have probably andesite down this side as well. That covers up the stone at the top, makes it all one texture. And that might be all that we need for the top because uh, when I go to the beach and I find the there's, there's these sort of walls at the beach, no matter what beach you go to, and you always see kids, and even when I was younger, kids would walk along them while holding the hand of their parent. I'm sure you guys even do that now. I walk along the wall when I'm, uh, when I'm there, or maybe your dog jumps up and walks along the wall. So that gives an, a really nice sort of top to this retaining wall. And when we've got that all the way around, it's going to look sick, really, really nice. Now, I want the road to actually be on this like on next to the wall so really really close we'll have a little bit of a path next to obviously the road so you can walk up and down and then the road and then another path on the other side now what i'm going to do for this is i'm just actually going to uh, move a little bit further away i'm going to go out to here and we're going to build the road uh, about here i'm going to go with well we want these slabs for the pathway two blocks wide for a path or three blocks wide for the path now, there's a reason why I'm doing it in the air. It's going to make it easier, easier for us to copy and paste different road sections uh, if we want to extend certain parts. And if we've got them in the air, then there's no other blocks around them. Remember on the uh, Adventure Map series when we tried to copy and paste the house and we had like bits of, how bits of other houses and bits of trees and bits of uh, ground and stuff around us. By doing it this way, we shall eradicate that problem entirely. I think I like just two blocks wide. Uh, I don't want the, the road to be like insanely long. And then we want the road to be down here. Now, I'm going to do the road. I usually do uh, white. Let's just use um, white wool for the moment. I usually do my roads five blocks wide. Okay, so the road would be like that. And then this would be the, the middle bit, like here. And every two blocks, I then put another piece of wool. Okay, and the reason why I do it five blocks wide is because a car in Minecraft, we usually do three blocks wide. Uh, so one wheel would be there, one wheel would be there, and then potentially another wheel there and there at the back, yeah? It fits nicely in the road. And I think we should probably keep with that design. It keeps it nice and nice and large. We'll be able to fit like little um, little Jeeps, little World War Jeeps in there quite easily. So yeah, I think we'll go with that. One, two, three, four, five. And then put these down here. Now, if we want to copy and paste this really, really easily, which we do, I think what we want to do is make sure that we start on a white and end on a grey. By doing that, when we copy and paste it, it should uh, just uh, stay in pattern. So I'm going to have maybe that one and that one, and that'll be our 
sort of default road length and then we can make them longer or shorter uh, as we as we want to add more I have no idea how long we've been recording for. I've cut away a couple of times and had a couple of distractions. So this might be a longer episode. <laughs> I don't mind episode one being longer. I hope you guys are as pumped as I am for this, though, because this series is going to look totally, totally awesome when it's finished. You, you, you don't even know. You have no idea. Okay, so I want to go from here to there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand in the middle of the road so I know exactly where it's going to copy and paste. No, I should probably stand on the edge, shouldn't I? Woo! I fell. Stand on the edge here. And copy. Then I'm going to come back over here. We're going to drop down here. And I'm going to paste. Now this might be at slightly the wrong level. Do I like it on that level or do I want to drop it down by one? No, I think I like that level. Then we can go to here. Paste again. And uh, the road is building itself. Now, this is what I mean. This is this is why I like World Edit so much. Uh, roads take so long to build. It's ridiculous. Uh, but we can now do that. I might have to extend this out and start curving the road around to go up that way. That's actually a, a much bigger road than I thought it was. Like, much, much bigger. Because if we're going to do a little village here, it's going to end up being quite big, isn't it? Mind you, if we're going to have a runway in and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. Um, that's no problem. Change of plan then. What we're going to do is this beach right here is going to continue along that way. I don't know how far yet. So this island will be pretty much removed. The, uh, the beach will go along the front. The wall will go along the front. And the road will go along the front. Then we can have roads coming off it. I thought that this would have been big enough to actually get everything in. As it turns out, I was so wrong, you wouldn't even comprehend. Because <laughs> we need uh, we need roads. On my plan here, I have what, that road going along here. That road going along here. Then I have a road going up about there. And a road going up about there. And then they loop around on each other. So it's basically like a straight line. And then a D coming off it. And that's the road layout. That's all there is to it. Uh, with, a, with a train track that goes off and out that way. What we'll be able to do is we'll be able to fade the road away. So you don't really notice. Or we'll just build it so far with World Edit. We'll be able to build it so far that you won't even be able to, to see it that much. But that's that's looking pretty cool. Obviously, getting the road and uh, the, the layout of the little town down first is probably the most important. Once we've got the town layout down, we'll then be able to move on to doing some uh, some battleships, some tanks, some blown up buildings. But until we get a little bit of a, a ground structure in, it's going to be difficult to know where to build the stuff. How are we going to know where to build the bl the blo oh, hiccups? Where we how are we going to know where to build the blown up houses if we don't have a road to tell us where it is? How do we know where to build the runway? Until we've got the roads in. If we build the runway and then we realise that it's right in the middle of where the road needs to go through. Then it's a lot of time wasted. Um, same with, you know, the church. If I build a church somewhere and then it ends up being not quite uh, in the right place. It becomes a little bit frustrating. But my eye, I'm so tired. No, anyway. Uh, that's all we've got time for this episode though. Uh, as the first episode in the series. You never really get as much done as you really plan to. Uh, but we've got a lot of explaining done. Uh, oh, another thing with the whole texture pack, though, before we end off, is if we wanted to make um, these white lines, you know in Minecraft when you're building a road, the white lines always look too big, don't they? They always look way, way too big for the size of the road. I mean, when you're walking down the road, the white lines on the road aren't quite as wide as you, are they? They're not like this wide as you walk down the road. They're thin. They're thin lines that go down. Well, we can go into uh, into Photoshop and edit a texture of a block to be a thinner line, and then we'll actually be able to get a more realistic uh, road line being in there. We do have to remember to try and keep to this World War II theme, so we're going to be looking and researching to World War II looking era buildings and, uh, and sort of building them from there. It's going to be really, really cool. Maybe I'll do it in some sort of Simpsons style and have like the picture up in the corner above my head so you guys sort of know what I'm sort of aiming to try and build uh, when it comes to certain buildings. If you enjoyed it hit that like button I really do appreciate it especially on a new series like this. If you haven't already then feel free to subscribe as you'll keep up to date with all of the videos that we've got going and uh, we shall see you in the next episode.